the storyboard. I'm Shubani Gharat. Launched in 2020, Wonder Lab is a marketing tech company founded by former chief executive of publicist communication Saurabh Verma. In its less than four year old journey, Wonder Lab acquired What's Your Problem, an influencer marketing platform Opportune, a performance marketing agency. Neon Digital and Symmetrics, which is a sales force and data analytics company. Varma has built Wonder Lab with a primary aim to build a global network from India. And keeping this in mind, Wonder Lab a few weeks ago announced the acquisition of Poland based B2C digital marketing agency WebTalk. With its fifth acquisition, the company will have its physical presence in the European continent. And Varma's former colleague, Publicist colleague, in fact, and former Publicist One CEO, Yarek Zibinski, is the chairman of the supervisory board of Wonder Labs European Hub in Poland. Yarek was visiting India recently. I caught up with both Saurabh and Yarek to understand their ambition and vision for Wonder Lab. Saurabh, Yarek, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Nice to be with you today. Thank you My for inviting pleasure. us. Sort of, we are meeting in the Wonder Lab office for the first time. Uh, you set up Wonder Lab four years ago in the thick of the pandemic. Um, it's less than four years. You have four agencies in India, one in Europe. Tell us more about your uh, four year old journey of Wonder Lab. So, Shivani, you know, when we started off right from day one, the idea was to build a network from India. Uh, it wasn't really to build an agency. And part of our premise was that this was the perfect timing. There was access to capital. India had some extraordinary talent. Um, we as a leadership team had done a lot of the work building the networks. So we felt there was an opportunity here. Our thinking and premise to build a network of the future was to focus on uh, it being India out, having large strategic hubs in a few markets rather than across the world. The premise was to trans, you know, focus on not just marketing transformation, but also what we call digital business transformation. We saw the world collapsing, right? It became one continuum. For the first time, you could see some mega trends. For example, um, designations like chief experience officers were becoming the norm. For the first time, the CMO's tech budget was bigger than the CTO's tech budget, right? You could see the uh, moment of acquisitions, content companies acquiring technology and data companies, technology companies and, and uh, the reverse, right? So we felt uh, this continuum, right, will stay. Uh, every client will fundamentally want the full funnel. They are um, frustrated with the silos which exists at their end and at our end. And there is a huge need for uh, integration, but not at the cost of specialization. So we became platform first by design, right? Everything we acquire is actually in many ways platform first. Um, our second, uh, you know, premise was very simple. We said, listen, not just DBT uh, and marketing transformation, it would also be products and services, right? If you look at networks, they've always focused on services, right? Services gives you access, but they don't create differentiation in today's world. So for us, it was very critical to acquire or build products which could actually differentiate the service, right? So that was the second premise. And third was a unique model of acquisition itself, right? If you look at most acquisitions done by many networks, the failure rates are extremely high. And part of the problem is that fantastic entrepreneurs become bureaucrats, right? Um, they become employees and they don't last. The moment their you know, payout finishes, they are not part of the organization anymore. So our uh, um, acquisitions are structured in a way for the entrepreneur to remain entrepreneur. Correct. And now you've expanded to Europe. That's uh, why we are speaking <laughs> and meeting with Yarek, who's over here, who's going to lead Wonder Lab, uh, I believe, for the European uh, market. Uh, That's the plan. It's, it's safe to assume that you, know, you guys met uh, and brainstormed while <laughs> at Publicis. Uh, tell us more about the big plans for the European market with the Wonder Lab Biarik. What I think is really exciting in what Sarab has created and started building is that, you know, we've seen holding companies and networks that were built out of 
power centers in the Western world. So you've seen networks built out of London, Paris, and New York, and Chicago. But this is the first time when I see somebody with ambition of building a global network out of uh, emerging market. Mm. And that excites me. And, and the choice of uh, geographical locations Sarab has made is a perfect choice. Mm. Basically, he's building it out of two super dynamically growing economies. Mm. India and Poland are probably some of the fastest growing economies of the world today. Mm. The second aspect that I find very strategic is that in both of these markets, mm. the talent pool is incredible. Mm. We have abundance of super well educated, trained and experienced people who mm. live in the cyberspace. And this is the exact exactly the kind of talent that we need for Wonder Lab. Mm. So he has a powerful talent base here in India extremely powerful talent base in Poland and I think that supports the model really nicely. And um, uh, another thing that really makes me optimistic about Wanderlap is the fact that this will be from the day of its inception future ready company. Not like the holding companies of the past that have to carry a massive luggage full of problems from the past. <laughs> Uh, that they sometimes know, sometimes don't how to solve, and obviously this represents huge percentage of, of their business, and it's not that easy to transform this business, to change it, right? So it's a big hustle, but they have to carry it. Yeah. So imagine that new future-ready business maybe represents, in some cases, 30% of the business, in some cases 20, in some cases 35, or 40%, but still, a massive 50, 60, sometimes 70% of the business is the model of the past, built over the decades, you know, uh, and not necessarily transformed and changed until today. Wonder Lab doesn't have that, all right? We're building uh, something that is future ready. It's a 21st century model, ready to uh, work with um, marketers across the world, solving today's problems without spending time and energy on fixing some legacy issues. Mm -hmm. and, and I like this aspect very much. Yeah, and being like a future, uh, uh, you know, ready network, uh, a network that has emerged out of an emerging market, as you mentioned, uh, Yarek, uh, tell us how are some of the problems that are existing in, you know, let's say Europe as a market that, you know, Wonder Lab has the capacity to solve better than the existing legacy networks in the region. So the value creation in this process comes from the selection of the companies representing particular kinds of capabilities and bringing particular talent to the game and becoming complementary. It's not just buying more of the same because we want scale and because we want to create valuation in a few years, no. We want, to, uh, we want to make sure that we have a collection of companies that bring capabilities and talent complementary to each other that ultimately, as Sarap is saying, will be able to serve you end to end. Excellent segue for my next question. So right. what, is, what are you looking to acquire next after this? It will be across the four pillars, hmm. right? So we will, in every hub, start off with an acquisition which is in the digital video hmm. and content and community space, right? Hmm. So web talk. Uh, is in that space, WIP was exactly that acquisition. We will then mirror that with DBT acquisitions, with data and media acquisitions, and wherever we can add the MarTech layer, we will add it. The MarTech layer could be anywhere, it doesn't matter because it's fully transportable, right? When you build a product, right, that can be taken to any country in the world to serve any geography. Now, there will be some competencies which will be selective, but majority of them will be actually transportable across the world. Thank you so much. Thanks for your insights. It's been an absolute pleasure, Shibani. Thank you very much. It was great. It was a pleasure to spend time with you. Time for a short break. On the other side, we are catching up with marketing luminaries from Bengaluru on the sidelines of Storyboard 18's Visionaries. <laughs>